My number one April favorite is Pee Wee. Now I can't believe just how many items I loved during the month of April. I don't know if it's because I'm home and I'm experimenting more and since filming videos, I'm trying new products, but there are so many products that I have been loving this month. So we are going to get straight to it. I have a lot of products to talk about and as always, everything will be listed in the description bar down below. They are affiliate links and I make a small commission if you do purchase from those links. So it would mean so much to me if you did shop through those links if you end up purchasing any of these items. Also, let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these items, what you thought about them, or if you're gonna be trying any of them in the future. Without further ado, let's see my April favorites. You know what time it is. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like favorites videos and also hit that bell notification if you wanna be notified every time we upload. Okay, so I have a huge bin here of all the things I've been loving for the month of April. Let's dive right in. We have things in all different categories. There's truly something for everyone. We have makeup, skincare, and bath products. So the first item is the one right on top here. This is the Dr. Teal's Coconut Oil Epsom Salt. Now I talked about the lavender version, I believe in my empties, but this is actually my all time favorite type. They are so moisturizing on the skin and they smell so good. So this is definitely a favorite. I'm gonna be ordering more of these off Amazon. They're less than $10 and you get a huge bag of them. Next up, we are going to talk about my skincare favorites for the month of April. So first of all, I have these acne patches from Coz RX. These are the best acne patches I have ever tried and I've tried quite a few. And the reason why they're so good is because A, they work on diminishing the appearance of your pimple. Will your pimple be totally gone? No, I've yet to find a patch that completely eliminates your pimple altogether in one night because that's just magic. But they actually stay on the skin really well. So even if you toss and turn at night, which I tend to do, these still stay on the skin and your pimple will be far less visible when you wake up in the morning. So it'll take down the redness, it'll take down the appearance of it. You really shouldn't be trying to pop pimples. I know sometimes it's really, really hard not to, but this is a great way to stop yourself from popping your pimple and also it'll help it go down naturally. Well with chemicals, but help it go down without you having to go in on it and pop it yourself, which can lead to scarring. Even though I know it's really, really hard to see a pimple and not pop it, these are a much better way of doing it. Now I will show you what they look like. So they come with a variety of different sizes, which I really like as well. So you have a big size, if you have a really massive pimple, or also if you have a couple in the same area, you can use one of these bigger size patches and then small ones for small little pimples. And, oh, and there's a medium as well, but I use the most of the medium, so there's a medium size down here as well. So small, medium, large. I love these, they work really well. They are my favorite pimple patches I've ever tried. These were kindly gifted to me by a site called Style Vanna, and they sell a ton of Korean skincare and beauty products. I actually have a code with them to get 10% off anything on their website, so I will leave that in the description bar down below. They've sent me a few things, and I really love the stuff they've sent me to try. Korean beauty and skincare are some of the absolute best. Next up for skincare, this is an item that was kindly gifted to me by First Aid Beauty. This is their brand new sunscreen. So this is the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30. Now, it has been getting a lot sunnier here, even though we just had snow a few days ago. The snow is now melted, the sun has come out, thank goodness, and I definitely needed a new SPF. So make absolute sure that your SPF is not expired because it can't protect your skin if it is expired. I made that mistake once and I got an absolute horrible burn, horrible. So I'm really liking this. This is super lightweight on the skin, just like it says. It actually gives a matte appearance to the skin a little bit. So if you're someone who's really oily, I think you'd really like this. But me having dry skin, it doesn't, dry out my skin even more, but it does give you a matte finish. It also wears well under makeup. So I'm wearing it under my makeup today. It does not pill at all. It does not leave a white cast. It actually is tinted. If I can show you here, it is tinted, but when it goes on the skin, it doesn't really leave a tint, but thankfully it doesn't leave a white cast as well. So thank you again, First Day Beauty, for sending that to me to try. I'm really, really enjoying it. 
This isn't exactly skincare, but I think it kind of fits in that category. This is a castor oil that I got off Amazon. And I, so it's an eyelash, eyebrow, and hair ser serum is how it's described. And I've heard that castor oil is really good for growing your eyelashes and eyebrows. So I haven't had lash extensions in probably over a year now. I used to get them religiously. I loved my lash extensions, but I've been rocking the natural lashes for quite a while now. And I thought that this would be a great time since we're in quarantine and we have more time to kind of spend on our self care routine and we're stuck at home. It would be a great time to try this. So I am trying to grow out my eyebrows. I have very, very thin and fine eyebrows and also grow my lashes. So I think it is working. That is the, the big million dollar question. Does it work? I really think it's working. I'm not sure if it's a placebo effect and I'm just imagining that it's working, but I think especially on my eyebrows, it's been making them a lot bushier, which I really like because I do not have many eyebrow hairs. I'm always trying to make them look thicker and fuller. Every night I take a little, what do you call that? Spoolie. I take a little spoolie and dip it in here and comb it on my eyebrows and comb it on my eyelashes and leave it sit overnight as part of my skincare routine. And I really have been liking that. So this is more of a body care item. This is the Isle of Paradise tanning, self tanning water. And I have talked about this quite a few times on my Instagram because I just recently started using it maybe two months ago and I have been using it so much. I absolutely love it. It is such an easy self tanner to use. If you're someone who is not an expert at self tanning, you don't self tan a lot, but sometimes you want to try it out and kind of give yourself that a little bit of an extra glow, especially now that the weather is warming up, but it's not warm enough for a tan. But you know, when you start wearing shorts, you don't want to have, you know, you don't want to blind people with your skin. I am loving this. This is one of the best self tanners I've ever used. I use the shade dark. So they have a self tanning water. They also have self tanning drops, which you actually mix into your moisturizer. And I've heard really good things about those. I haven't tried them personally, but this is a really great product. I like the water. So basically all I do is I spray this all over myself and depending on how tanned you want to be, you can spray less or more. So I use the dark one and I just go in with one coat. And what I do is I spray a leg, rub it in, spray another leg, rub it in, spray my body, rub it in. So I don't let it dry down before I rub it in just cause I want to make sure with the mitt, also key with a mitt, I don't use my hand just cause I don't want my hands to be orange, but with a mitt, I rub it in to make sure that there's no streaking or spots from where it's sprayed. This is such an easy foolproof tanner. Seriously. I know this sounds like an infomercial, but I paid for this myself. This was not sent to me. This is not sponsored at all. But if you're someone who's scared about using self tanners, this is such a great one to try. And I did try the medium one and it just didn't give me enough color. So that's why I went in and got the dark version. But for someone who really isn't great with using self tanner, I don't use self tanner a lot. I actually used to get spray tans and I actually used to get real tans way, way back then. But those days are over because I do not want to hurt my skin. And I have been using this for, I want to say a month and a half or two months. And I still, I'm not even halfway, oh there, that's better. I'm not even halfway finished it. Because when you're using a spray bottle, you're only using a little bit and it's spritzing it all over your body. Next, we are going to do my makeup favorites. So this makeup favorite is the e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. Now I love dewy skin. I have such dry skin that anything that makes my skin look dewy, glowy, hydrated, I am so here for it. Not to mention e.l.f. products are so inexpensive. I think this one is $6. And this gives such a beautiful finish to the skin. It does have coconut and argan oil. So if coconut breaks you out, you may wanna steer clear of this. It does really smell like coconut as well. So if you don't like the scent, Oh, it smells like a tropical vacation. If you don't like the scent of coconut, you will not like this. The coconut scent is very strong, but I love it. It transports me to the beach, to, you know, pina coladas. I just, I love it. And it gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. Now you can definitely go overboard with this. Even someone like me who has dry skin, there have been days where I put a lot of this on and it's just too much, like it's too much. It's like shining, shining, shining. 
So just a light spritz of this will do ya. And I just think this is an absolutely beautiful product, especially for the price. And you get a lot. So you get 4.1 fluid ounces for $6. In case you don't know, you can get e.l.f. products without having to buy them from the U.S. So you can actually get e.l.f. on the Shoppers Beauty Boutique. That's what they call kind of their higher end makeup section and also their website where you can buy beauty products. So you can find e.l.f. products on that website and buy them right here in Canada. You don't have to worry about duties probably will get here a lot faster as well. And you also can get optimum points, which is something I am very passionate about, my optimum points and collecting optimum points. They can add up really quickly. Shoppers doesn't have everything Elf sells, but they do have quite a bit. And they even have some of the newer arrivals as well. Like they have the hydrating camel concealer. They have the halo setting powder. They have tons of stuff. Next up for makeup, we have a setting powder. As you guys know, I am on the hunt for a setting powder to replace my Jeffree Star one, just because it's a little bit hard to get in Canada and we usually have to pay duties on the stuff. You guys know I'm always talking about duties. I hate being charged duties and I'm sure my fellow Canadians are with me. It just sucks to go to the post office and you're so excited about picking up your package and they're like, you owe us $25 or $30 or $40 or I actually just had a package that had $73 duties on it. So. Duties can be a lot. Now, this is something you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart as well. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair Light. Actually, I saw Tony, who is a YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers, talk about this and how much she liked it. This is a really nice setting powder. Is it as good as my Jeffree Star one? No, but it is close. It's really nice. And for the price, this is about a $10 powder and the Jeffree Star one is 30. So this is a very nice powder from the drugstore. We have another drugstore makeup product here. This is the, oh, and from Maybelline as well. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. And honestly, I cannot believe this mascara is from the drugstore. That's how good it is. I don't even have to use my lash curler because it does give your lashes such a lift. It gives your lashes, whatever it is about the brush and the formula, just curls and lifts your lashes. I always use a lash curler. I know some people use one, some people don't. Let me know if you use one down in the comments below, but I usually use the lash curler and I find with this mascara, I can totally skip that step. Next up, we have another e.l.f. product. This is the Wow Brow. I am so impressed with this brow product. I am always on the hunt for new brow products. I have a very specific way I want my brows to look and a very specific color. It's hard with blondes because I find a lot of brow products lean way too warm and my brows are not super warm. They're more of a cool tone, dirty blonde. So I need products that are more on the cool tone. And sometimes you can see where the color changes here, you actually can kind of see it today, where my natural brow and then it doesn't really match the pencil. It's better from far away because you can't tell. But I love this brow product. It's a perfect color for me. This is the color Taupe. And this gives your brows such a beautiful feathery look. It, look, it holds them in place. It makes you look like you have more brow hairs than you actually have, which I love because I have such fine brows. Again, this is from e.l.f., so it's super affordable. I think it's about five or six dollars and this is amazing. I am definitely going to be stocking up on these. Next we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealer. This is a fairly new product to me but I have been loving it. I'm very picky about my concealers. Don't want them to be too dry, don't want them to crease too much, want them to have a lot of coverage because I do have very dark circles under my eyes. Now this gives me quite a bit of coverage but it's also super hydrating. So I have the shade, let me see if I can see, Light 45W. Now this shade is a little light for me when I am self tan, so I think I'm gonna be picking up more shades in this one, but I am loving this from ColourPop. They are currently not shipping due to everything going on, and they are based in California, I believe. So they are not sh shipping out orders, but when they do, I will be ordering more of this concealer. Next. We have the foundation that has changed my mind about foundation. So I'm really not a foundation girl. I do not wear foundation often until I found this stick foundation from Haley's Beauty. Now I have heard Juicy Jazz here on YouTube talk about Haley's Beauty and I've always wanted to try them. So recently they had a sale and I decided to place an order. Now this is the shade 2.0. 
why do I always do that? I, I roll things up and then I can't get them back in. This is the shade 2.5. This is a perfect, perfect match for my skin. So if you use me kind of as a shade guide and you have similar skin to me, this is the perfect shade. This goes on so easily. This stays on so well and gives you a medium but buildable coverage. So depending on how much you put on, that's how much coverage you'll get. Now I am so, so impressed with this. Highly recommend this, have been using this every day and this has truly changed my mind on foundations. I am a converted girl. I do not like super full coverage. I like something that you can still kind of see my skin through and this gives me all of that. Next up, we have a highlighter that I've been using constantly. This is from Ofra. This is actually my first ever highlight from Ofra, and I received this in an Ipsy bag. It doesn't look like I use this at all, but I've been using this constantly. So this is the Glow Goals Highlighter, and this was actually from the Nikki Tutorials and Ofra collab. This is such a beautiful highlighter. Chances are, if you have seen photos of me lately or seen my highlight on camera, it is this highlighter and it is absolutely beautiful. You need just a tiny bit. You just need to dip your brush in here and it will give you such a beautiful glow. And the glow is still somewhat natural while still, you know, being highlight. You can tell I'm wearing highlight when I move my head. You know, you are blinded a little bit but it's not too much and I just, I love this. I am definitely converted to over highlighters and I wanna pick up more. Last but not least, I know I'm kind of cheating with this because I just used this today for the first time, but I wanna make sure I talk about this while you guys can still get it because I'm assuming this is a special edition product. This is a collaboration, Physician's Formula Butter Collection with Whaley, Whaley Huang. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but this is the palette here. You can get this online at Shoppers Drug Mart and it is in stock right now. So if you're fast, you can get it. I don't know how long this is gonna last for, but this is such a beautiful one-stop shop palette. This is absolutely stunning. These colors are gorgeous. I am wearing this one as my blush today and this sunset bronzer and they are absolutely Stunning. If you've tried the butter bronzer, it is such a cult classic. People absolutely love it. And these all have the same formula. They are super buildable. They're not too pigmented. So you really can start off with a light, light color and then go in and keep adding more. So if you're a beginner and you're not sure to start where to start with makeup, I would highly recommend trying these types of products from Physicians Formula because you're really, you can't go wrong because they apply such a sheer wash of color at first, and then you can build it up to be what you want. So you can apply one layer of bronzer, see how you like it, add more, same with blush. They, they also give such a beautiful glow to the skin. Like this is not just all highlight, this is my blush and bronzer as well, giving me that glow. I am so impressed with this. This palette, I believe, is $19.99, and you get six shades like that's insane you get six different products in here for $19.99 anyway if you are a beginner or you're experienced in makeup I think you'll really love this palette this is such a home run from physicians formula yes I've only used it once but I had to tell you guys about it I just couldn't keep this from you and I'm wearing it today and I'm just absolutely loving it I'm actually thinking about picking up a second one before they discontinue it that's how much I love it Okay guys, that's everything for my April favorites. I hope you love this video. I hope you found some new things to try. And if you do end up trying any of these products, please let me know what you think. You can always tag me on Instagram or let me know in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.